Hello people, it is Venom Wolf here, yet again, with another Game Boy review. This time, it is on one of the most legendary first-person shooter games ever to exist, Doom. Now, Doom is a pretty good game in its own right, but did it make a good transition into the Game Boy? Let's find out. <coughs> <sighs> Had to clear my nose and throat pipes while I was at that. Anywho. Alright, the first thing to talk about while playing this, um, the graphics are pretty nice, I have to say, pretty decent for what they were going for, it kind of looks like an Atari Jaguar game to me, I don't know, does anyone else sort of get that feeling from this game, it looks like it's supposed to be for the Atari Jaguar or something, I don't know. The controls are for the most part okay at best, but there's a few issues I have with it. First of all, the aiming system is a bit stiff, uh, and it's a bit of a problem trying to deal with a lot of enemies all at one time. But it's not as bad as... well. It can be an issue, but it's not a huge issue where I'll go out and your rage about it, you know? The music is pretty decent too. Um, well, for the Game Boy standards, anyway, it's pretty decent. Like I said, the graphics are pretty nice. The gameplay is okay as well. Um, it's overall not the best Game Boy game transition port, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever played. But it's no Sonic Genesis either, you know? So, overall, doomed for the Game Boy. Uh, not much can be actually said about it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent game overall, like I keep repeating 10-10 games, I've got nothing else for really them to say about it. So... Yeah. Hmm. This review turned out to be a lot shorter than I originally thought. Oh well. This is... Venomoth here, signing out. But before I sign out... <sighs> keep playing those excellent Game Boy gems. Or, you know, just avoid Sonic Genesis at all costs if you want to keep your sanity, but that's besides the point. Anyway, see y'all later, guys.